serious research. I have started a book editing on this title. Yes, yes, I have shared it with my faculty members also. Now, this, no. this presentation is another uh, experience for me. Really, really, that uh, how many? Uh, I don't know how much time you have uh, for doing all these things. Uh, hmm? Like uh, you are editor of several books and you are publishing papers and you are also doing some re your considerable research. Uh, what yes, subjects you handle in your sure. university, sir? I think your voice is breaking, sir. Several more. Two minutes, sir. Two minutes. No problem, please. Hello, is it audible, sir? Now. Yes, yes, you are more clear now. This institute is in uh, Andhra Pradesh or in Tamil Nadu, sir, this one, Bharat Institute? Telangana, Telangana. Telangana, okay. So with your permission, we will try to proceed. Dr. Prasad, please, sir. Okay, sir. Hi, Shivram, sir. This is uh, Prasad, uh, Associate Professor in uh, Civil Engineering College for Women. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. The honor is mine to introduce Dr. P. Shivram. Uh, Dr. P. Shivram working as Associate Professor in Bharat Institute of Engineering and Technology, Hyderabad, Telangana. He completed PhD in Computer Science from Anna University, Chennai, Tamil Nadu in October 2017. And he's, uh, he did his ME from Anna University, Chennai. His research areas are managed routing protocol optimization and Android app development and so many uh, research areas are there. Invited as a, he invited as a resource person for numerous uh, FDPs. He conducted and attended several workshops and national and international conferences. He published many high indexed papers with more Scopus citations. He is a professional member of IAENG, ESRII, IAOE, ICS, ES, IFERP, and ISOS, ISOC. He got special appreciation award from the district collector Tanjavur, Tamil Nadu, India for the successful design, development, and implementation of Android app named Meeting the Management Tool. And he also uh, author and a reviewer for various books and international journals and conferences. This FDP is extremely fortunate to have the, such a great uh, resource person. Thank you, sir. Sir, could you please share your insights in the area of hands-on practices and examples to social welfare, computer applications, and optimizations with emerging technologies in computer science? Sivaram, sir. I hand over yes, back to you. Uh, please continue, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I hope the speed is now visible. Voice is breaking, sir. Well, uh, is the screen is allowed. I'll just check it. Yes, the screen is visible, sir. Please proceed. Ah, yes, sir. Two minutes. I hope now it's clear and uh, visible. Uh, is my voice is audible? Yes, sir. If voice is audible, I can uh, continue further. Yes, and, uh, A voice is audible, sir. Your voice is audible, please. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, welcome to all on this uh, FDP and thanking all the dignitaries who have provided the opportunity to present the extended content of the February month faculty development program. This is uh, an extended version. So hands-on practices and examples to social welfare applications optimization with emerging technologies in computer science. That is a, uh, this is presented under FDP on recent trends in artificial intelligence and cyber security on this day and fourth year. So I'm Dr. P. Shivram, Associate Professor, Department of CSE, Bharat Institute of Engineering and Technology, Hyderabad.
So in this connection, uh, the technology, article in the last presentation, we discussed about all sorts of emerging technologies and its need, how we can hold software yes, applications. Yes, sir. Hello. Is it clear, sir? Yes, sir. It is clear. Please proceed, sir. It is clear. Yes, sir. Thank you. There was some inception was there. That's why I stopped. This is an extended version. In the last study, I have listed more than 14 emerging technologies in the computer science area where in which the space inventor applications can be uh, created and the existing application can be added with the subsystems to optimize and we can make use in the social purpose, social utilization purpose. That's a common public usage purpose. In such a thing, uh, we may come across various technologies and its advancements and operation concepts you may be trained on that bridge and no training is available what is this such application how the system can be molded how the system can be brought into the practice after implementation in such a context i have taken some eight examples in this uh, presentation they are treated as social welfare computer applications and all these applications are Existing in uh, current practice, the existing system with this AI and cyber security concepts are integrated with it and further it is optimized for the social use. The listed title, all eight are Indian patents title. I have filed all these eight patents under this name. The first one is the remote voting system. Second is the system and method for conducting contact flows transactions. A remote exam invalidation system, the famous one, device and method for calculating usage based frequency. Hello. We have muted the participants. We have muted the participants. Some participants are unmuting. Oh. Sorry for this. Okay, I that, uh, no, no, no. Nothing I am thinking better. Not how <laughs> Please, please, please. Your voice is very clear. Please proceed, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, the fourth uh, so application is the device and method for calculating usage based toll fee. And the fifth one is the system for pollution detection and environmental analysis based weather prediction. Sixth one is the remote seating arrangements with free seat identification and reservation system. Seventh one, system for monthly electricity bill automation. And eight one system and method for location based travel alarm. These eight are now, as an example, you can treat under social welfare computer applications and its optimization. And uh, this uh, FDT is focusing on artificial intelligence and cyber security. I am blessed with these two technologies, emerging technologies, all are integrated with this on eight patents. Now, the next one is the remote voting system. Uh, you can clearly see uh, the architecture or flow diagram of this particular application where it looks the AI and cyber security. When this uh, voting system is considered, the cyber security plays a vital role where it looks the users, navig the voters' navigation plays a vital role. You can see from the diagram uh, from the place where it is not only within India, wherever in the world, on the day of election process, from that particular locality of your own, you can cast the vote for the Indian election system. That is now enabled with the help of AI and cyber security. AI is used to identify the voter is an authenticated voter or not. The voter validation is done with the help of AI technology. Then the transaction on this particular activity, this particular remote voting system is entirely controlled by security aspects through which we are making this particular social welfare application with the help of these two technologies. Not alone this, the web technology plays a vital role and the GPS position system, the global positioning system, GPS also involved in this. And this particular work of this patent, I have patent, patented this particular work and this client's Udai servers pertain to the other, the reference set of attributes corresponding to all valid citizens of the nation, including the one or more entities, like uh, the thumbnail, sorry, the fingerprint or the iris recognition 
these are all the attributes corresponding to that with the help of that the voter is validated with the system then integration of voter id with the aadhar is uh, entertained and informed in this pattern along with ai with cyber security with the application optimization is done under this particular work uh, the further information about this application can be read at uh, these two urls which is provided in the slide uh, at tagal i uh, share this slide to you the one of the application is a remote voting system now it is possible with a move towards the blockchain can also be included in this blockchain based remote voting system can be uh, developed that's a future enhancement also available with this uh, find the pattern and its center the first one is a pattern link second one on the same uh, application uh, on the same work i have written a book chapter uh, with all clear details about this operations the second uh, one the system and method for conducting contactless transaction is a second application uh, or we can say social welfare computer application in which the atm machine is the existing uh, system with the ai along with the security we by intro incorporating these two uh, technology as a sub system we can optimize the atm mission operations in terms of contactless always the atm mission is subjected to contact oriented we are supposed to touch the mission we have to give the pin number we have to insert the card and that's a debit card or what card is provided that card has to be used with the mission in such a context with the help of mobile computing and mobile devices how the entire atm mission can be made with contactless here only two places that contact is existing one is uh, collecting money as well as depositing money apart from that you are not supposed to touch the mission that also the collecting money and depositing money also sanitized envelope cover based money collection and money deposit is entertained and informed in this uh, particular work for which the artificial intelligence as well as uh, the security aspects are highly helpful to mold this particular work under the pattern activity from the diagram you can see the smartphone based app server and the corresponding atm machines and its wifi and the banking server are interlinked for its processing so that this particular indian pattern clients a mobile computing device associated with the entire system establishes communication with the atm device to conduct contactless transactions with the atm device the mobile computing device associated with the system is communicatively coupled with the atm device to a communication network here also this particular work also i have written as a chapter in uh, cs stagger and francis book series and uh, this content also available in the second url and first url is the information about the patent for further information you can read from this the third one the remote exam invigilation system during this pandemic situation all uh, computer professionals are subjected to create new idea new information new systems which can provide the hygiene and social distancing in such a way this idea that also comes under a social that the society belongs to the institutional group and educational group they can utilize this particular Uh, activity in which uh, the examination point of view as an uh, manual indicator how he is monitoring inside the exam hall the same the uh, same can be obtained but the students can be placed with the social distance in a particular classroom and they are monitored even not only in the classroom the students can also be take uh, written examination in their home or room from there also this system will monitor properly and give the uh, misbehaviors and other information and it is uh, properly done it will appreciate in such a way the system is designed in which uh, this particular pattern and this information flies an automatic exam invigilation system a combination of internet internet world wide web cloud network local area network wide area network bluetooth network wireless fidelity global system for mobile communication and global positioning system Later, with enhanced security, in which artificial intelligence role is not present in this work, 
but the security up to now what three uh, examples i narrated all three are equipped with um, this particular uh, security it is enhanced in that with the security all such applications can be molded the cyber security plays a vital role uh, in humanity in such a case these three are again coming under social welfare applica uh, computer applications optimization this is uh, the new feature under this uh, computer science and engineering domain i am introducing the fourth work you can see that device and method for calculating usage based toll fee now uh, the toll fee collection on the transportation the road environment is subjected to an infrastructure even from the manual collection now they change it to the um, fast tag based amount collection even that provides uh, a little delay for the transportator uh, 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 the vehicles which are all running on the road environment uh, that also can be provided with this such infrastructure system is not needed using the google's geofence concept the geofences on the google map of the particular uh, toll road can be mapped in an application and android based or any uh, computational device smart device based map application can be designed and through which when the vehicle enters in the road environment uh, it automatically identifies uh, the toll road charging point when the vehicle comes out identified by the same system in between starting and end point the distance is calculated based on uh, the particular uh, the policy what we are having 1 km or per meter what is the charge accordingly pay per usage based toll fee can be collected this can eliminate uh, a person who is uh, 300 meters in front of the toll gate he is starting his travel and after the toll gate just 200 meters he is traveling he is not supposed to pay the entire amount how many meters he is traveling that much of amount can be uh, paid by the user this comes under artificial intelligence and the same cyber security is applicable in this particular application this is not written as a book chapter the packet information alone available with this here and the fifth one system for pollution detection and environmental analysis based weather prediction in which uh, there is no artificial intelligence existence only the cyber security uh, has a role in it in an environment educational environment it is not sending any disseminating uh, this it is not disseminating any messages to the user mobile a common display digital board will be available there in which we can identify uh, we can know what is the Um, problem uh, in the environmental parameters like water and uh, air and sound. What pollution is available that will be displayed on the screen. For which uh, uh, such an application can also be possible with IoT concepts, and it claims a weather predicting system based on detection and analysis of environmental pollution surroundings, one or more predetermined the locations, the system. and its stated information is available on the given url of the slide the sixth it's a remote seating arrangement with free seat identification and reservation system this seating arrangement it's a common uh, seating arrangement system this can be applied in institution for auditorium purpose in local transportation bus that how many seats are available in the local buses we are having the applications for the long journey buses but the public transportation inside the metropolitan area or a city environment we are not having such facility the students or uh, those scholars are right now working they can create particular seating arrangements uh, application and that will serve the society in all aspects the aged and elder people can utilize this application at what time on what bus Uh, tracking also available in this. How they can reach the bus stand? What time? Ten minutes there. They can start the uh, walking towards the bus stop. The free seats are available. For the social welfare, this particular uh, application is created and it is patented. 
this particular idea slides yeah, whether pretty, oh, this is wrong we have placed anyhow uh, remote seating arrangement with three seat identification and reservation system through uh, this is a general and common mode of seating arrangement system this application can be applied with any of the social rental applications even bus seating and uh, our students auditorium or laboratory seat lab seat placements etc and etc this information is available and the link is provided in the slide the next is system for monthly electricity bill automation even it's a old project now with available iot based concepts this idea is optimized again already such automation systems are existing in the market and in the field but the emerging technologies again opens a wide door and wide risk we, we are having to implement further each and every the major which is available there in this one iot such system again the security is implemented in a uh, artificial intelligence is not equipped in that and uh, when the uh, cycle bill cycle date is coming according to previous month cycle and this month what is the meter reading difference is that based on the electricity board policy the amount will be calculated and that will be uh, auto debited from the customers uh, or the consumers uh, bank account then the information will be disseminated to the consumer as well as the board if any discrepancy only the human workers of electricity board can be utilized for correction and verification and solving any issues are arise uh, this uh, idea also patent and and the invention focuses on designing the framework of automated subsystem to calculate the electricity electricity consumption units tariff rate and tariff details the developed the mobile application is specifically specifically for online electricity payment system so the information is available under the indian patent journal it is published and you can visit and you can take the information with the application number and first link is providing the publication information of this patent second is the details about this patent available on other platform and with the diagram you can see once the application idea conceptually you have created that has to be plotted in a uh, proper way with the uh, diagrammatic approach the pictorial representation provides the clarity on it so the last eight one is a system and method for location based travel alarm so when now even we are having such activities now uh, with the help of security alone cyber security this location based work before Uh, 10 kilometers of the certain location, uh, the alarm bell triggers, and this is also considered social welfare applications optimization in this scenario. So, whenever you are planning a conceptual way of application molding, because all are now focusing on the conceptual technology information and theoretical mode and explaining the concepts technology, these are all okay. Now, how our scholars and students are supposed to practice how we can create and yeah, an application which can provide the social benefit through which society members can utilize with the available technology. First, the conceptual based design is needed. They are supposed to focus on this particular design and development. After the paper work or this uh, pattern find, you can start here. implementation work through which the technology what we are learning can have the present uh, view by the society if you are providing so many applications in such a way which supports uh, the society in all aspects people will be able to use such applications so there are, this is our information uh, and i am Planning to say the title once again. So the social welfare applications optimization with emerging technologies in computer science is the main topic in which how the hands-on practice of application molding, application creating, and certain eight examples I have narrated in this uh, presentation. Surely I hope this will support uh, the members those who are having ideas in hand. 
then but they have not started their conceptual view of visualizing such an application how it such technology can be incorporated and integrated with the application model application system model i'm so happy to share all these examples at this point and my presentation uh, get ends at this section uh, hello sir hello sir yes yes okay sir i am concluding this presentation at this point so dear participants if you have any questions please ask to the professor please unmute yourself and ask the questions so participants if you wish to interact with our professor you uh, you can unmute yourself and can uh, interact with our professor please So by 4:30, I think you have to take buses, sir. What, sir? You have your own transport in Hyderabad. Ah, oh, yes, sir. I am having vehicle here. Uh, that is very issue at this time. Uh -huh. <laughs> Last time uh -huh. I used the public bus. Now I am having my vehicle car with me. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, uh, by 4:30, the, the, tra the traffic will be more in Hyderabad. Also, it seems to be. Huh? No, sir. I am staying in the little village area. This is outer environment uh, near a dairy market. Uh -huh. So that's not at all an issue right now. It was a nice uh, idea to be nearer to the college itself. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, just a few kilometers away from the institution gate. I found the room. Uh, I am now staying in the home. There is no issue there at what time of the day. Any participants, if you wish to interact with our professor, uh, please unmute yourself and you can have a query. I think your presentation is very clear. <laughs> so, uh, Some say yeah. that, but uh, they are not having interest right now to interact because they may have some idea or this is the last session of this day. Maybe God's sister. Anyway, Prasad here, please proceed, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, Sivaram, sir, uh, actually very excellent uh, presentation. We are uh, uh, enlightening our minds with very good examples, uh, social applications. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. So in that, I uh, impressed with one, one example, sir, remote exam in utilization system, sir. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Sir. It's a very, very we good. We can have the discussion uh, further. Uh, those who are interested, we can have the interest. And we are, we are share the links for each and every patent and information. So it is very yeah. useful for uh, budding researchers who want to do the research in these particular areas. And you are yeah, open the doors. Of, you are open the doors of the researchers, sir. Thank you, thank you very much, yeah. sir. So in future also we want our association with uh, SVCW, sir. Yeah, again I will update with another information regarding continuing the same uh, concept. We'll have the other discussion. So much happy to have you in my continuous delivery. Thank you very much, sir. If you wish well, to I'll announce do. that, well, you see, if you wish to announce that you have some books, now, sir. If you wish to announce that, also you can announce because all these are engineering faculty around. Uh, Almost okay. 37 million okay. colors. If you have any announcement okay, done, you can do, please. Or I will Surely. share with them. Surely, now I will share my screen again. Is it share, sharing? Yes, yes, please do that. Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm <laughs> going 
Two minutes, sir. The page is loading. Uh, the topic, what I mentioned, this is recognized uh, by the IGA Global International Academic Publishers from USA, and they have given the book title for me to edit. Perspectives on social welfare applications, optimization, and enhanced computer applications. And this is the title of the book, and it is having up to November 26th, first phase of chapter collection, as well as um, February 8th, also second level of chapter collection. The students' final year projects can also be written as a chapter. With this, uh, I am being the editor of this particular uh, book. And once you want to publish, sorry, propose a chapter in this, just you are in need of a title and abstract list of authors details with mail ID and other things. You can have the open choice, not only the examples and information I have provided today with you, along with I have, I'm providing an opportunity where your research idea can also be recognized and approved by internationally. So you can write a chapter under this. Even uh, you are clicking that uh, chapter proposal, propose a chapter button, you can have this view just a minute. What about the indexing, sir? Is, the, is it indexed? It's, it's, in... a scopus. it's a scopus and SEAE. Now, Standard, it is not given. After a certain level of proposals are over, and they will check the quality of the documents, what we collected and how we are processing. Accordingly, it is indexed in scopus as well as SEAE. So, in other words, even for our faculty also, it will be very important. Yes. All your final year students, project work, whatever yes, yes. you are doing, all are coming under social welfare computer applications optimization. Not only the CSEC, civil, mechanical, which provides the social welfare cost. We can propose a chapter under this uh, book. And uh, fortunately, a year resource person is the editor for this. And we can have the clarity. Uh, and we can do much and more in the cooperative mode to improve the quality of the chapter. So, when you uh, yes, are yes. the proposed chapter, yes. you can get just, uh, some chapter title you have to provide, list of orders with email ID, then the abstract and introduction part. Now, you can propose with your idea. Once the final year students' projects are available, the way we can take this initiative with the students and your students will also have the article write-up in undergraduation stage itself. So you can promote a skill that's having time up to June 2023. So we are having plenty of time. Two phases of the project work can also be done relaxedly. That can be written if you are presenting in the project work uh, or project report that will stay in the uh, institution library and in the university. But if you are writing this, the student will have the uh, accepted paper information and it is published information to wherever he is applying for the job. We can cultivate the practice of writing a research article on his idea what he is having in hand. So in this way, this edited text book is our edited book is having the value. And uh, we are having the deadline now, the 26th first one, full chapter submission February 8th, and final submission date up to February 8, 2023. Final year students work and focus on this work, in this, uh, this, in this book work. And we have almost 15 to 16 doctorates in the department, and uh, everybody will. Uh, no participate in this sir. even not only the UG students but also the doctors they have very good research papers with them they will also send i think most of them will be in line with your theme of the book also that's what i could uh, understand hmm? this idea was proposed and presented first at uh, our institution only on february 
After that, I applied with various publishers. This publisher I have applied, uh, approved this concept and they have very much energized and I used our presentation video only for getting the proposal from this uh, board. I proposed mm -hmm. this our video. I got mm -hmm. this approval. Yes. But you have also the international uh, editor also in your panel. Hmm? From Malaya. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Who is there? I think you have an international editor with you also when you are proposing yes. this particular. No. No, 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 no. no. I am uh, a single man just tried with a plenty of publishers okay. and I got from two areas finger nature as well as uh, this IGA Global. Uh, this IGA Global came very first. That's why I accepted. I missed this finger nature conference proceedings. Really, it's wonderful. So the first half is super. The second half is better than the first half. Actually, this is Next, next also with excellency. I am planning all of the all credits are goes to you because I am using this platform for the worldwide publicity. Yes, yes. Because see, we have almost 500 participants from 76 engineering colleges. And these yes, 76 sir. engineering calls also, there are different people from civil also, people are there, EC also, we have people, Triple U have some people, CSC majority are there. So yes, it is, uh, uh, it is yes, like sir. interdisciplinary people are there. Ah, please. Yes, sir, these applications are not restricted only for computer science. Yes, yes it is. Interdisciplinary. Yes, yes. Interdisciplinary. Yes, sir. I'm so much happy to get back this information and appreciation for me. And I'm making use of your motivation and uh, appreciation for to grow further along with your support. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, have a nice day, sir. We will be in touch with you and we need all your cooperation and in our future collaboration also. In the future. In and wherever I am. It's not the thing. I will uh, communicate with you. We will have yes, a collaboration yes. properly, sir. Yes, and uh, yes. your initiative only gave me much confidence. Now it is enhanced the version of the February month presentation. It's not yes. a different field yes, of presentation yes. uh, today. Next time when you are inviting, I will present further enhanced version <laughs> of the. I have older selected this field as my own field. Version 1, version 2, version 3, something like that. Yes, sir. It's providing continuous option as we are supporting and appreciating. That's the thing. It's really wonderful. Thank you. It's a privilege seeing you online. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, we will start the next session shortly by 5 o'clock. Hmm? Let the audience will take at least 10 minutes break. <laughs>